Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about uh, keyboard shortcuts and scripts. Uh, like everything else, this is going to be, uh, you know, it's it short and sweet, and I don't think we're going to go um, too deep. But uh, when, when I've I'm a big keyboard shortcut fan in all software. Certainly here in Eagle, it took me a little while to figure out um, uh, beyond the basics. I should say um, you can, you know, and, and like you can assign move uh, commands or or uh, the show command or whatever in Eagle fairly easy. Once I learned scripts, I'm like, oh, this is way better because then you can assign multiple functions uh, to a single key which is really powerful I'm not a huge scripting nut uh, but I'll show you some of the basics and so the the board that I brought up here um, it's kind of neither here nor there just using it as an example but um, what I'll show you here is what it takes to uh, say that this is the top layer and I want to uh, I want to uh, start working on on something on the back. So you have to pull up this this uh, the layers uh, dialog and turn off the top. I'll turn on this one. Okay, so we want the pads and the views, dimensions. Okay, we want um, yeah the bottom place. Yeah. Oh, hang on a second. So let me go. I'm killing you. I'm killing you. Back. Oh. Deadly. I apologize. I'm not entirely prepared there. Anyway, so we're going from the uh, working on the top of the board to the to the bottom of the board. So let's see, we're turning off the top layer, turning on the bottom, and turning off top place, turning on B place, turning off the top origins, turning on bottom origins. Um, let's see, we want our bottom names. Uh, turn off the uh, T stop for B stop. Uh, references are good, and we'll turn off the T docu and turn on B docu. Okay, great. There we go. All of those little mouse clicks uh, ultimately resulted in us being able to see and function on the bottom of our board. But now we want to go back, and we have to click all of those dumb things again. That was frustrating for me. So I have mapped um, all of those functions to Alt Q is the top, and Alt W is the bottom, and it is that fast to switch. So how in the world am I doing that? Well, let's go take a look. We'll go to the options menu, select a sign. Uh, once again, Eagle does not remember where you put dialog boxes, so if you have uh, three giant monitors, it's a major pain. So here we go. So it's going to, uh, the assign command, uh, this is um, uh, the basic and advanced uh, keyboard assignments. Uh, Alt 1, uh, 2, 3, I think, I think all of these um, are, uh, they come with Eagle that way. But if you skip down here, these are the ones that I added. Alt A is scr layer one underscore on what in the world is that well let me decode it so scr means that it's running a script and layer one on is an actual script file that's in the default directories that you set up um, in your in your directories preferences so what is happening here is when i hit alt a it actually types that command uh, in a virtual sense into the command line up here and um, in fact, if I type that in, SCR, well, it'd be the same thing. So let me show you what the, the script is. Uh, I use Notepad++, a little side note, who cares? The reason I love Notepad, uh, there's a lot of reasons I like Notepad++, but for this one, I have all of my usual suspect scripts already open on tabs inside of Notepad, and I'm constantly changing these ones for the display. Uh, so it's really kind of easy and you can change these things um, as you uh, as you go so if I hit when I hit uh, alt Q it runs top underscore a dot SCR and here we are this is what the script looks like it's plain text super easy and on let's go line by line here if you see a hashtag that means that what follows this on this line only is a comment you could put anything in there and it's essentially ignored uh, this next one does not have the hashtag, so what you see here is a command display, and then the uh, the parameter for that command is none, uh, which means that it's going to display nothing. It turns off all the layers, is the first thing that it does, and then it ends in a semicolon. So all uh, command lines have to end in a semicolon, so it knows it's done with that line. And then, so these next ones, are, they all have the hashtags in front, uh, these next two, I guess, is because I don't want those to run. Those are like alternates or whatever. Uh, the one that's actually going to run 
is this one right here, display, and it has a bunch of numbers after it. And each one of these numbers, excuse me, uh, refers to uh, the layers that I actually want to turn on. It ends in a semicolon, and and there we go. So I want to turn on all these layers. It turns off everything first, and then it turns on all those layers, all in the blink of an eye, which is fantastic. And then when I uh, hit uh, Alt uh, W, in my case, you can be whatever keys you love the most, um, it runs this bottom one, which is kind of the same stuff. I've got some, you know, gobbledygooky comments up here, but it goes to display none. It basically clears out all the layers, and this is you know, some display setup that I had for, I don't know, for a different board or whatever. But you kind of skip all the hashtags and um, go down here. It's display 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. These are all the bottom related layers. Um, and it makes it super quick. And this can be any number of commands, a sequence of commands, all kinds of stuff. There's there's no limit to how um, complicated you can get here. Um, but here are the ultra simple ones. So I just want to turn uh, layer one off. Um, so in, in the case of this particular board, layer one is actually one. Some other ones I used uh, one and 13, and who cares why that is. But this one's got the uh, little pound sign in front of it, so it's going to ignore that. All this is going to do um, when when uh, this one is, is, um, uh, is it's kind of a macro, I guess. Uh, when this is played, it's going to... Uh, say display and then negative one and the negative means that it's turning off that layer uh, and then the semicolon so display one is turning it on negative one is turning it off so no surprise when I go here uh, to this one it says layer one on display one off negative one so when we go back here um, I have those assigned to um, let's see layer one off is Z uh, alt Z and alt a so I can turn that copper layer on and off. So I can turn off uh, the copper one. I can now I can turn on uh, the the ground plane that's underneath it. Um, then I can turn that one off and turn on the power plane that's underneath that. Um, and, and then I can individually turn on and off the uh, the bottom layer. Oh, hang on! I've kind of messed up the bottom layer. You know what? This is a good chance to go figure it out. So the bottom layer on this board. Let's look at our layers. I believe it's 16. Yeah. So it's 16. When I was hitting uh, the key that I was expecting to turn that one off, it was not working. Oh, you know what? I take that back. The, I think the script is fine. I was hitting the wrong key. Um, <laughs> anyway, everybody makes mistakes, right? So um, now, what did I do? I broke it. Oh, I did break something. Hang on. What did I break? So there's the top and the bottom. Ah, so the bottom turning the bottom layer off actually has uh, an error. Let me let me trigger that error. It says uh, unknown layer four, and let me show you why. It's pretty simple. There is no layer four in this particular design. I'm sure one of my other designs actually has a layer four, but this one has layers uh, one, two, three, and sixteen, um, and the script. Pull that back up for layer four off, layer 16 off, I believe is, aha. So if you look look here, it's trying to tell the system, turn off uh, uh, display negative 16 means turn off layer 16. But it's also saying turn off uh, layer four, which doesn't exist. So Eagle throws an error and is like, I don't know what to do with that. So simple fix. We'll put the little hashtag, hit save. Uh, and keep in mind, Notepad's completely independent of, of Eagle. So now I can turn on and off the bottom layer. So I fixed that. No problem. Super simple. Um, so anyway, this is, a, a, you know, incredibly powerful, uh, I think, because uh, and, and here's why. So it, it's kind of fun and exciting to have all these things, you know, for, for me to have them all mapped out and all that kind of stuff. Part of me, it just kind of makes me feel cool and everything. But w what I noticed is is when I took the time to map all this stuff out, all of these these very time consuming and tedious um, tasks that I would have to do, switching layers and um, mousing around to go pick all of these kinds of things, uh, they they take time and they distract me from designing the circuit board. And and that is that's a lot. So I'm able to keep my my head in the game, my head kind of focused on routing and strategies and the actual technical difficulty of making the board. 
without having to mouse around and click around and re and just not without wrestling the software. So this kind of um, helps me uh, communicate very quickly with the software. The software gives me what I need quickly so that I don't lose my train of thought. I can keep myself focused. So, uh, you know, take a moment to go through uh, your, your, you know, whatever keyboard commands you have. Take a moment to learn kind of the basics of making the little script files. You can use the notepad tr technique that I use. I'm constantly changing things, uh, e even as I design. Um, and, you know, if, if you're new, uh, pay attention to uh, uh, how many times you're clicking the same buttons or, or doing all these repetitive things. Save yourself some time. Keep yourself focused on the design, uh, whether you're a, an amateur or professional. Saving the time is uh, is great. I don't think you're here just to click icons. You're here to make a circuit board. So make that happen. Hope this was helpful, and we will see you on the next one.